Hello and welcome to an entirely new Pokemon Showdown team building video. This is part 23 and this week we are going to a special sweeper. A Pokemon that will always have a place in my heart. That is Crocodile. This thing is a monster. The only drawback, that has the ugliest shiny I've ever seen in my life. What is that? Come on, come on Game Freak, what the hell are you doing? But we're going to be using Crocodile this week. As for a nickname, I'm, I don't think I'm doing nicknames this week. I honestly just don't have a nickname for any of the Pokemon I have in mind. Ability is going to be Moxie, because Moxie allows sweeping potential that is just unheard of. And this crocodile, after a lot of debate, because Choice Band makes this thing hit ridiculously hard with a base 117 attack stat. Why 117? I don't know. They could have rounded it to 120 or 115. Base 92 speed stat. Those numbers, they agitate me, but we're going to be running a Choice Scarf Crocodile. As for a moveset, obviously got to have Stab Earthquake. Base 100 power stab, it's just a move that you have to have. Um, we're going to have Crunch for the other stab move. Base 80, chance low defense, always hits. It's not a bad move. As for the other two moves, it really depends on what kind of coverage your team needs. So... In fact, instead of Crunch, we could run Knockoff. So that would be a little bit better. As for our other moves, I'm I'm thinking Rock Slide, because at the moment, say, a Togekiss comes in, we are completely dead. And for a final move, we could run Superpower. That would hit Dark Types, it would hit Normal Types. Rock and Steel we already hit. We could run Outrage which could definitely surprise any dragons that may want to come in. We could run... yeah, that's about it. That's that's about the only two moves I have in my mind. Do we want to run Outrage, or do we want to run Superpower? They're both, both 120 and they both have drawbacks. I'd say Outrage purely in case of a um, High Dragon coming in. That's my main thought process behind it. Because if a Hydreigon comes in, I'm probably going to have to rely on Rock Slides, and that will not do. So that is a powerful Crocodile set. I like that a lot. As for a Team Rad Crocodile, I don't know just yet, but I am definitely making sure we have Sticky Web support. Because Sticky Web support is just so damn useful that I, I overlook it in my EU team builders. But it's absolutely crucial. Especially if your opponent is using it. So we, we are going to run Sticky Web. A strange fact, Joltik does not get Sticky Web, Galvantula does. Um, we'll run Volt Switch and Bug Buzz for our stab moves. Now do we want to run Energy Ball or do we want to run Thunderbolt? If we run... I'm, I'm thinking we run Energy Ball. I want as much coverage on this thing as possible. An energy ball will allow us to hit any leading Don fans that may start off. If they lead off with a Don fan and we have Bug Buzz and Thunderbolt and Volt Switch, then I mean, we're not going to be in a great position. But if we have energy ball, we could probably take it out in two hits and then get the sticky web up, which would be pretty nice to do. I quite like that idea. So yeah, we'll try and do that. Alright, as for a core round Crocodile, now that we've decided on sticky web support, we need something that's going to be able to take water, grass hits, ice hits. Um, it's going to need to take fighting hits, fairy hits. Crocodile has a lot of weaknesses, which is quite hard to deal with. Um, what do we have in Yu Yu that's bulky to start off with? We could run Empoleon. Empoleon would be a great Pokemon to have. Empoleon, defensively, is one of the best typings, in my opinion. It's not weak to grass, it is four times resist ice, it resists fairy, it resists water. It's it's a great Pokemon to have. Milotic resists water, resists ice. Just generally has some great bulk to it. Has a reformer for recovery, which is quite nice as well. Suicune, the same. Vaporeon, again, kind of the same. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go with Tentacruel. And that is because Tentacruel isn't Empoleon, so we haven't used it a million times already. And it also has the Poison Typing, which could 
get rid of grass types, if it comes to it, and it could get rid of fairy types. It also resists fighting. Tentacruel is a great Pokemon to have alongside Crocodile. Okay. Um, we'll give it the Black Sludge. Black Sludge is nice. It's a little bit better instead of Leftovers because recovery only for poison types. We can't be tricked in that case. If they do trick, then they're going to be screwed over because of it. We're going to give it Liquid Ooze purely on the chance that we get Giga Drained. <laughs> I know it is an amazing chance, but meh, it's there either way. As for a move set, I have no idea. I want Skull so we can get Burns. I kind of want to have Acid Spray. As strange as that sounds, I kind of want to run Acid Spray. I've seen it used a couple of times, sometimes even on me, and it's not actually that bad. If you can get an Acid Spray off, the next Acid Spray is going to do essentially a Sludge Bomb anyway. And if you're about to go down and you can lower their special defense by two and come in with something, it's pretty useful. I think we're going to run Acid Spray. You get such weird moves. Why do you have Hex? Why do you have Dazzling Gleam? They, they Those moves confuse me. Um, we're going to give it Rapid Spin. I know, the moves just keep getting weirder. And maybe Toxic Spikes? That, mm, 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 not feeling it. We could give you Ice Beam. But then if these are the moves we're going with, we could honestly just make you a Salt Vest. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to make you a Salt Vest. You may not have recovery, but you'll take hits a lot better. And we will make you especially defensive. Well, we don't need to make you fully specially defensive. We'll make you mostly specially defensive, but we'll also make it so you have some offensive presence. Just like that. It's kind of a weird set, I know, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, you need to be a calm nature to get the most out of your special defense. Kind, kind of a weird set. Mm, don't know how I feel about that. That may be changed depending on our other counterpart to... Right, so we are weak to... Ground with Tentacruel. We are weak to Psychic. Ground and Psychic. That is an awkward pairing. It's hard to get a Pokemon that resists both. It'd have to be like a Flying Psychic type, maybe? Cresselia with Levitate. That would do it. Cresselia is such an annoying Pokemon, I don't want to do it though. <laughs> I honestly hate Cresselia with a passion. <laughs> and anyone that's been up against it, I'm sure you know exactly how I feel. Uh, defensive Psychic Flying type. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> Sigilith with the Flame Orb. Um, what move is it that passes the item across? I don't even remember. But yeah, Sigilith. Sigilith could work, but mm, it's not the best defensively. It does get Cosmic Power something to keep in mind. Uh, Tentacle, do you have any other weaknesses other than Ground and Psychic? Electric. Okay. Yeah, that, that, okay. That's... Although we have two resistances to that already. So Electric isn't the most of a problem. I'd say to focus more on the... What weakness is the worst right now? Psychic and Electric can both be dealt with by Crocodile. So I'm going to say we need something to resist Ground. Ground is our worst problem. A physically defensive Pokemon that resists ground typing. Okay. So we're looking for maybe a grass type. We're looking for possibly a bug type. Um, what do we even have that can resist ground? Defensive Shaman. That isn't great. <laughs> uh, hmm. I mean, physically defensive Zapdos with Rocky Helmet is a thing, and it's immune to the ground typing. We already have an electric type, though. That's the only drawback. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Resists ground, has high physical defense. This is harder than I thought. We're not seeing a lot at all that so resists that. Ground is gonna be a problem for this team. Which is weird, because it's what this team is based around. Oh, well. um, you know what? We might actually just go with Sigilyph. 
as weird as that sounds, we might actually do it. Unless there's something hidden in the depths of NU that's a secret gem waiting to join this team. You never know. Malamar, it's immune to the psychic. Uh, it doesn't resist ground though, what am I thinking? Uh, resisting ground. It's gonna be a problem. Torterra resists ground. <laughs> Torterra. It's also immune to electric. It's not weak to psychic. I really want to run a Torterra. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Why not? Um, you're gonna have leftovers for a little bit of recovery. Um, mm, do we give you Overgrow or Shell Armor? I'd rather Shell Armor. I will give you Leech Seed, so you can have a little bit more recovery as a possibility. We'll give you Earthquake. This does mean we have two ground types. But they don't share the common grass weakness, they don't share the common water weakness, they do share an ice weakness though. Which Tentacruel kind of covers, but we'll get another Pokemon to deal with that. Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm, this could be okay, this could be okay. Um, we'll also give you Seed Bomb. You know what? No, no, no. We'll give you Synthesis, and we will give you... We could give you Rocks. Rocks could be incredibly useful. Could give you Wood Hammer. That doesn't seem too useful. I have to remember, we, we should really give this thing one grass type move, like Giga Drain or Seed Bomb. We'll give him Seed Bomb purely on the off chance that we encounter Mega Swamp Up, because I know how much that thing destroys. Um, so we'll get rid of some pieces, and we will give you... I want to give you Stone Edge, but that uh, just doesn't seem too useful to me. I'd rather give you Stealth Rocks. We'll give you Stealth Rocks, and we'll make you physically defensive. Okay. Right. We need some specially offensive presence right now. And honestly, can't be weak to ground, can't be weak to ice. Other than that, we're good to go. Specially offensive presence. Let's just have a look at some of these special attack stats. Mega Ampharos, crazy special attack stat, weak to ground. I mean, Azelf, crazy special attack stat. I'm kind of tempted. What, does Psychic really hinder us in any way? Does Elf work? I know I'm kind of picking the first one I've seen here, but Elf could actually work. It has Levitate, so that's an immunity to ground. It isn't weak to ice in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. We'll keep looking. Azelf is definitely in my mind right now. As much as I want to use a Heliodisc, not really helpful. Hydreigon, uh, weak to ice. Lucario, sadly, you're weak to ground, or I would be putting you on this team right now. That's a shame. I do like Fighting Stab. Fighting Stab is something that I would love to have on this team, but I don't see it really working. It would mean two Psychic Weaknesses, two Flying Weaknesses. I just, mm, Fighting Stab just doesn't seem like it'd be useful. We're gonna run as Elf, we're gonna run as Elf. We're gonna do it. As Elf can get Stealth Rocks though, which means you can actually have Synthesis after all. So we'll give as Elf the Stealth Rocks. Pretty sure you get Stealth Rocks anyway, I've said enough times, yeah. And we will give you, right, your physical attack and your special attack is the same, we want you to be special. So we're not giving you Ice Punch. Why do you get Ice Punch? It's so random. Okay. Do you get U turn? Oh. Tempt me to make you um, physical. We'll give you Psychic for stab. We'll give you Thunderbolt because. No, 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 no. I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Honestly, I kind of want to give you Signal Beam. Because at the moment, I don't think we have anything to hit Dark types. Although, a better move would be Dazzling Gleam, so we'll give you that. And we'll give you Flame Frog, because we don't have any fire type in moves, so sure. And we will make you Focus Sash. No, we can't have two Focus Sash users. We will make you... Life Orb. 
will make your life up, will make it so you hit like a truck. You should be outspeeding things anyway, and hopefully you will finish off some Pokemon, and that will be good to go. As for a final Pokemon, we have a Stealth Rock user, we have a Sticky Web Support user, we have potential sweepers, we don't have anything that can set up. So I kind of want something that can come in, set up, destroy. We don't have a fire type, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, really, it wasn't that long ago. So a fire type that could set up would be quite nice, except I don't want it to be weak to ground. That leaves a problem. We have resistance to fighting just about everywhere, so it could have a fighting weakness. It's the ice weakness that we need to look for. It needs to resist ice. Which a fire type would. A fire type would resist ice. Honestly, Infernape looks so tempting. But it's weak to ground, and psychic, and flying. It's. Ugh. We're, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're gonna have Infernape. We're gonna have a Sword Stance Infernape. Yep, we're giving you Sword Stance. Um, I would give you U-Turn, but if you're setting up, it's not really the most useful. Um, we will give you... I mean, we could give you Nasty Plot, and you could be a Special Sweeper. Mm, no, nah, I'd rather you be Physical. Now, what kind of move set do you want? Although, if we made you Phys... Okay, yeah, we'll make you Physical, because that way you can get Mark Punch. And we will give you Flare Blitz, so you can hit like a truck. And Close Combat. And we'll make you a Fast Physical Sweeper. Holding a... I would say a Lumberry still burns, but you're fire types, so you don't need to worry, which is quite nice. I could give you a Citrus Berry. What berry raises speed when you get to really low health? Just on the chance that... Is it Salak Berry? Let's find out. Yeah, we're gonna give you a Salak Berry. And we'll give you Iron Fist to make Mark Punch hit a little bit harder. And that will be good to go. Maybe we won't give you Mark Punch if we're running a Salak Berry. Just seems a little bit counterproductive. Instead, we will give you... Uh, what are we walled out by? Uh, mm. I was gonna say rock types, but no, we have close combat. Duh. We are walled out by... Like, fire flying, fairy flying... I guess we'll give you something like Thunder Punch, just for random coverage. I mean, if a water type comes in, we're kind of screwed. Yeah, we'll give you Thunder Punch. That just seems like it'd be useful. Okay! Validate the team. Okay. It's no, there's no Baton, Baton Plus Claws shenanigans happening in this team, so it's all good to go. This is going to be our team for tomorrow's battles. It looks kind of good. It looks kind of good. I might be overlooking some things, but overall it looks kind of good. What does Torterra look like, Shiny? Nope. Zelf, do you look any good, Shiny? Nope. Inferno. Something, something look good, Shiny. <laughs> No, we're not having any shinies on this team. Okay. But if you have enjoyed making this team, I think it has a lot of potential for certain, then leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out. And without further ado, bye!